Hi, I'm Christine Long with PIMCO. With me today is Suzanne Shu, professor from UCLA's Anderson School of Management, and George Fraser, an advisor with Retirement Benefits Group. PIMCO's research has found that when it comes to women's top money goals, women rank stability, lifestyle, and financial independence ahead of their own retirement. In fact, only 17% of women rank retirement as a top goal. The research also tells us that women are taking a short-term focus in saying that planning for tomorrow is so difficult because they already have so much on their plates today. They want to know more about how to optimize their money today rather than talk about retirement, which seems further off. would love to get your perspectives on how we as an industry can be addressing this and, and are there behavioral elements here that um, we should understand? I think there's, there's a few issues going on there, particularly with women in thinking about retirement. One is we know from the research and, uh, and asking people about life expectations in particular, how long do you think you're going to live, women tend to be more pessimistic than men relative to the actual mortality tables that Social Security, for example, puts out. So women tend to think that they are not going to live as long as the data actually tells us they will. And so if you think about that, it can have two big impacts on their planning. One is that they expect there's less years that they're going to have to support themselves during retirement. The other is they might have a belief that if they're married, that that spouse is going to be there for all of those years, when the reality is when we look at the mortality tables, women do tend to live a lot longer than the men do. There's certainly a bias in the thinking there that could get in the way with retirement planning. I think the other thing that's, that's really interesting is, based on the research you've done and, and the findings that you have about the fact that women are very sort of short-run focused, you know, I have children, I have a spouse, I have a house, a job, all of those sorts of things. And because of sort of that outward focus, it becomes hard to focus on your own needs and to really take the time to think forward far enough to realize there might be a point where that financial independence that you're worried about today is actually going to matter even more in retirement and um, should be the motivation for, for saving and making sure you're protected when you get to that stage. Interesting. Sounds like an opportunity for more education and communication. George, I have a question um, more specifically for you um, with, in the 401k space. PIMCO's research found that only about 14% of women are maxing out their retirement income versus 26% of men. And 57% of women report that they rarely think about the funds in their plan and their retirement portfolio in general. How might you think about approaching that issue and, and using some of the approaches that perhaps have worked for you um, with this particular segment? Well, you, I think you hit the nail on the head, Christine. It's about education. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lack of education. Um, there can be more focus on women exclusively in the plans, and advisors have to do their job with this. We need to be in front of folks at plans, um, men, women, et cetera, and we, we need to be spending that time providing the appropriate education and making them aware. You know, there are lots of uh, folks who s decide to stay single, et cetera, and, and they need to be made aware that, you know, these are things that need to take place. So I, th I think just generally better education across the board is, is the direction we need to be going in. More and more. Excellent. Well, thank you both for your time today.